Wow, it's hot. I'm glad I get air conditioning. Anyway, I figured in no particular order to go through my arsenal or my <laughs> sword rack, so to speak. Um, <laughs> I know I did a video some time ago, only covered a few of the Bibles I had. A lot of Bibles just fallen into my hands, been gifts or whatever. Okay, this is a... Um, Revised Standard. It's got some nice pictures in it. It's the edition from the 1960s. It's published by World. Has a reference suite at the uh, bottom of the pages. Has a concordance and some maps in the back. Another RSV. This is calfskin leather, full bonded leather lined. I'm not sure what to make of that. I've certainly never seen any premium RSVs in the past. But, um, center column reference suite. And it's also got a concordance. And these Hammond maps that I see a lot in some older Bibles. Another revised standard. This is from Nelson. It's a um, rebadged Cokesbury, which is uh, um, United Methodist Church. But it's very much a Nelson. <laughs> it's a Jesus man for all time thing in the front. Um, another one that's got a lot of pictures in it. And this is actually the first one I've seen RSV. With red letter. Some helps in the back. A, um, one-year reading guide dictionary concordance maps an image of Vanna Schofield but this was a gift oddly for an Oxford King James Bible.
Cambridge text. Stumbled upon this at a used bookstore. It's published in eighty six. Pretty basic King James. The text block kind of looks like a Gideon Bible. Um, they put a family section off in the back is kind of unusual. But I guess this is why they called it the American Family Bible, even though it's about a normal size and not typical family Bible. A few months ago I had uh, bought my neighbor a Bible and I bought myself a Bible about the same time with the same text block just different colors. I got her maroon one and I got this one. Now Zondervan King James I'm not really a fan. They're kinda weird. But it is what it is. Found this one at Goodwill. It's um, another RSD. Single column layout, which is unusual for Revised Standard. This is in New King James, uh, New Testament, and Psalms with um, Eastern Orthodox study notes. I, um, about a year or so ago, my uh, dad gave me this. We hadn't seen each other in like 25 years, so pretty big thing. Um, he's uh, Antiochian Orthodox. This is my token ESV. I'll sometimes have a copy of a version just to have one. Not very big print. It's enough for my eyes. It's my token uh, CSB Christian Standard Bible. I'm not a fan of this. I think the language is a little too casual. It, it is red letter. Easy enough on the eyes despite the tiny font. I think it might even be smaller print than my uh, Royal Ruby. I uh, forgot to bring that out, so I'll tack that probably onto the end. It is what it is. It's not not really all that great a translation. It is ultimately 
related to the King James kind of indirectly. As most Catholic Bibles are, it has some uh, study notes. Thompson Chain reference. This was given to me by a friend of mine. That, um, she happens to be the pastor's mother-in-law where I go to church. Anyway, she never used it, so she just gave it to me. Probably one of the better study Bibles I've used. This one's um, not red letter. Another used bookstore find, just a pretty basic King James is a typical. Gideon Bible Skull. It's got a few things in the front. It's typical of um, uh, Gideon Bibles. This was another one that was given to me because uh, the person who gave it to me is not a fan of the New Revised Standard, and I understand why I'm not really a fan of it myself. It was at one point the one our church um, used in an official capacity. Um, Does have the apocrypha? Pretty basic um, NRSV as they go. This one is in Spanish. It's not a Bible I'd typically use. Um, it's a rather strange translation. <laughs> yeah, a little too paraphrastic for me. Um, it is red letter. It's a Nueva Biblia Aldea translation. And not one I would recommend. It seems to be kind of like a Spanish New Living Translation. Another Spanish Bible. This is uh, uh, Reino Valera. Uh, 1960 revision. So, the Reign of Valera is kind of the Spanish King James. Red letter. Mm. Kind of makes me twitch sometimes because uh, it's a uh, very Jehovah's translation.
and my other Spanish Bible is uh, Nueva Versión Internacional as you can probably guess it's a Spanish equivalent of the NIV it has devotionals in it aimed at children and I found it in the children's section at Ollie's but it's pretty much a basic um, NVI One's in New King James. There's a few devotional things in it again, it's aimed at children. isn't too bad a study Bible. I use it now and then. This is the um, local church wide margin. I uh, Took a few notes in it a couple years ago. Haven't used it too much since. But it does have some notes in it. It's a wide margin. <laughs> Another New King James, um, <laughs> this one's seen better days, my, uh, ex-girlfriend's dog took a little piece out of the cover. Otherwise, it's in good shape. Um, red letter, center column reference suite. Book introductions, concordance, a couple maps in the back. Another uh, revised standard. One's the Collins. Typical Collins um, family record pages. Covers kind of falling apart. It's got nice big print. This was one of my eBay finds. I'm seeing better days, um, especially the yap is kind of rotted out. You can uh, still see the art building. This is really what you'd call a family Bible. And I suspect it had never been used, just left for the cover to rot away. It's 
red letter. To give you an idea how much stuff there is in the back. That's turned to Revelation 22. It is a tome. This is a reduced size uh, turquoise from Church Bible Publishers. This is, I got this at the St. Vincent de Paul while they were still around. It's um, got a little bit of a misprint somewhere around, around Ephesians where some pages are uh, reprinted and some are missing. Um, it's a Catholic version. It's a confraternity version of 1941. Later I got another copy of that and uh, when that started to fall apart I actually had it reprinted and created this. The same translation. It's in the public domain so it's no big deal. First premium I ever got. Another church Bible publishers. Uh, this one is the Concord. First edition revised standard. Nineteen fifty two printing. This is the so called uh, old school field. This is specifically in um Oxford edition. Personally, I think the notes are a bit daft, but some people swear by it. journaling Bible I showed in my last video. My cat kind of dinged up the cover. I've been trying to use it for notes when I think of it.
another revised standard. This is a uh, rebind that I got from uh, Bo Tate on YouTube. He has an Everything Bibles um, group on Facebook. It's just the New Testament and Psalms. was just a cheap find on um, eBay and I suspect it really discolored over the years since it was supposed to be white. It is a um, Collins King James, the Collins presentation pages. Collins used to print the King James under the um, Scottish Royal License. Um, nowadays it's handled by R.L. Allen, but they always wrote printed by authority on their King James Bibles. It's got some pictures in it. It's a basic King James. Some helps, no concordance. It does have a couple maps in the back. Probably the first Bible I actually bought for myself, and about 10, maybe 12 years ago. My um, uncle had an earlier edition of this. This is a new Revised Standard. Um, like the other one I showed, it has the Apocrypha. not a fan of it. The study notes aren't very useful from a theological perspective, but they are what they are. Um, Now we're getting into the big guns, or should I say the big swords. This one is an Alan Clarendon. What I like about the Clarendon text block is that for the most part it keeps the original um, uh, chapter headings from 1611. And this piece of lead <laughs> is the one that I can honestly call my Bible because I handled the, as, although I um, had it printed out and bound for me, the typesetting, the design, I did this. So, in a way, it really is my Bible. Now, 
the binding was done by a local business in uh, Buffalo. And last but not least, this little thing. It's just a little $8 Bible. The Royal Ruby. It's called Ruby because it's a five and a half point font. The rebadged uh, Cambridge it's small but just hold it closer it's easy enough to read 